Would you like to create a wholesale order form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And if you are a store or maybe an online seller, having a wholesale order form could be really beneficial to you. Now, one way that we can go about this is we actually have a template for a wholesale order form. So at the very top of the screen, I'm gonna go ahead and choose templates. Let's jump over to form templates. And let's do a quick search for wholesale. And let's go ahead and take a look at this very first one. We can see what they have on there so that we can take that information and make our own. So we have name, company, the basic information, shipping information. We have some order details. We have what looks like a table, payment method, instructions, and we even have a signature. So that kind of got my creative juices flowing. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. I'm gonna head back over to my job form dashboard. In the top left-hand corner, let's go ahead and create a brand new form from scratch on the classic form. And we can rename this wholesale order form. And once we hit enter, it will update the name of the form up at the very top. But on the left-hand side, let's go ahead and bring in some popular basic form elements. Let's do full name, email, address, phone number, and we can also add in that signature as well, but let's go ahead and bring in a product list right above that. And you can see over on the right hand side, we have that product list that populated for us. So we can go ahead and choose that pencil and we can edit what this looks like. So let's say we have a shirt for $5 and we can choose that shirt image, perfect. We can save that, let's go ahead and head back. We can choose the gear to duplicate, it makes it a little bit easier to have things. So let's do pants and we'll say those are also $5 and you can add in an image and a description as well. Let's go ahead and save that and we can head back. Now, one thing is as of right now, there's no way for people to pay. So what we can do is we can choose that product list again. And right here we see it says add integration. If we click on this, we get to choose one of our payment gateways. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and do square. And over on the right hand side, we can see that that square integration has now populated. So we can choose to connect. Now before you connect, if you would like to put this into test mode, definitely choose test mode before connecting. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the live mode. We'll do connect. And if you have more than one business location, make sure you choose the right one for you. And then for our payment methods, we can see that the credit card option is required as a default and we can see it already populated over here. But if you want, we can turn on Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App Pay. We can have bank transfer, Afterpay. There's lots of different options that you can add in because they are more likely to complete your form if you have a payment gateway that they are able to use. So I think this is good. We can continue here. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this signature down to the very bottom, perfect. Now, another thing that you can do is on the left-hand side, if we come over to widgets, we can even add in an inventory widget if you would like, so that way you can keep track of your inventory and you can edit that over on the right-hand side if you would like. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the inventory, just wanted to make sure you knew that it is an option if you would like. Now, one thing that you can do in the top right-hand corner, we have our form designer. So if you want to make this look exactly how you want it to look, you can do that you can choose from different color schemes we can do this we see the background has changed we see it the font has changed I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to the regular one because up here next I'm gonna go ahead and make the page color and the form color both transparent because what we're gonna do right now is we are going to embed this form on a website so at the very top let's go ahead and go to publish make sure your form is enabled I'm gonna head over to the embed option I'm gonna copy this code and I'm gonna go ahead and head over to my website. I have a page that is already ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead the left-hand side. We're gonna add an element. I'm gonna come down to embed code, embed HTML. And then for this, all I have to do is just paste in that embed code, choose to update. You can exit out of this. And we can see that that form automatically will fill that space. And because I already have a wholesale order form up at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to my build and we can delete this. And then whenever it updates, since I already have it at the top, it doesn't really make sense for me to have it in two different places. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this to fit my website perfectly. Good deal, all right, let's go ahead and do a quick preview. And here is our wholesale order form on my website. We can see that that title is now gone. 
We have all that information. Perfect. Let's go ahead and give it a quick fill out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and choose the pants and the shirt. We can see the total is $10. I'm going to go ahead and pay with credit card. We'll do our signature and we will submit and we are good to go. All right, let's head back over to JotForm and in the top left-hand corner, we're going to jump over from the form builder over to our tables and we can see all that information within our tables. So we see all the information, ordered pants, and it was collected by card and it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create your own wholesale order form with JotForm, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.